Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkbridge Systems, here today to talk about drawings in SOLIDWORKS, or more specifically, how to reuse the labels from deleted drawing views. Now, for many of you, drawings are a critical aspect of the design documentation process, and when creating drawing views, SOLIDWORKS automatically applies labels to detail section and auxiliary views according to the system properties. Here we have a great example of exactly what you would expect. Here's our standard view created with a section view resulting in a label of section AA and a detail view to follow that up labeled detail B. Now what typically happens is if I delete a detail view for example and replace it, the label letters continue to advance even though that drawing view no longer exists. You'll see the result there is detail C. Now fortunately we have a way to deal with this. So let's go ahead and delete detail C and come up to access our system options. In the drawing category, you'll find an option to reuse view letters from deleted auxiliary, detail, and section views. You'll want to check this on. Once this has been completed, we'll follow up with another detail view, and you'll find that this will reuse the detail letter B as seen here. So this is a great way to make sure that your drawing order stays on track but it should be noted that uh, caution needs to be exercised here because using this method on an existing drawing with many established views may result in some confusing label orders. So we recommend only enabling this option for new drawings. Now if you've completed this process and you still find that your drawing views are being added with inappropriate labels, there may be an issue with your sheet properties. In order to diagnose this, you'll want to start a brand new drawing and before adding any drawing views, Right-click your existing sheet in the Feature Manager design tree. Here, select Properties, and at the top right of the dialog, you'll notice that you have a new view label and new datum label category. Both of these should be set to A. As long as they are, your first drawing view will start out as A and continue alphabetically, and that's true for datum labels as well. However, if that's not the case, like you see here, once we go to create our first drawing view that has a label associated with it, We'll take a quick detail from this view we just created. You will find that this is listed as detail B due to those sheet properties. So you'll want to make sure that both of those are consistent and beginning at the appropriate letter. Now if this process is required, this typically indicates that your drawing template needs to be updated in order to retain the appropriate label order for future documents. Otherwise, uh, you'll, that process will be required every time a new drawing is created. To learn more about creating and using drawing templates, please see the video that's linked in our description. Now that your drawing views are being labeled properly, what's next? Well, if you appreciated this video, please be sure to give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.